How would you like to be the only salesperson in a room full of gold? Uh, this will work for you if you're an agency owner or marketer, affiliate marketer, it doesn't matter. I'm going to show you how to be the only option for people to buy from no matter what you are selling, product or service. So how do you know this will be worth your time? Because I'm going to stuff this $200,000 service that we offer uh, high ticket clients on our profit position and agency website. I'm going to stuff everything, the tactics, uh, the philosophies and uh, strategies from this service into this 197 book. But today I'm going to go over a few things for you, such as how to be the only one to buy from in this video. So if you have a short attention span, I mean, I feel sorry for you. I want you guys to get value from this. I'm giving this away right now on this video for free. You're not going to find this anywhere else. So if you can stop looking at shorts and actually watch this, it's going to change your sales strategies forever. Okay, so now, <clears throat> how to be the only one. Step number one, <clears throat> you want to offer something different. All right. So when you look on the internet, you see everybody pretty much selling the same thing. Now in the Bible, it says, uh, um, let all your ways be established, meaning proven. All right. So meaning don't just go and reinvent the wheel or everything. But if you have research, you can modify the wheel. As you can see, the wheel hasn't been reinvented from the Stone Age times, but now it has rubber on it. And then they're creating wheels that won't blow up or, uh, you know, deflate or everything like that. So it's still the same wheel is just new and improved, enhanced. How do you be different all right, so offer something different to solve the same problem or better, uh, different problems than other people are, um, you know, solving, right? Offer something different. Now, the next option, let's say that you are in an SMMA space or the uh, AI automation is trending right now, or you are an SEO agency, or you're an affiliate marketer, right? <clears throat> All right, so if you're an agency, you can deliver a different way. So what do I mean by that? Well, you know, back in the day, it was a craze, like something that we'll do uh, that was different from everybody else that were putting clients on monthly retainers. Uh, we started selling leads to them. So, I mean, they were getting leads on the monthly retainer, right? But we offered a different way of uh, delivering those leads getting paid only when leads come through, pay per, uh, per performance so that we can build trust and take down the skepticisms or the fears of the potential clients and everything. And when we first introduced that, it was like bringing in new clients or partners by the droves, right? So deliver in a different way. All right. Now you see a lot of companies or agencies, instead of them delivering the leads, what they'll do is they'll close the leads for the company and just transfer the information. You see what I'm saying? So it be different, like be different. Deliver in a different way. So now three, <clears throat> three, a combination of the first two. If you offer something different and you deliver it in a different way, then you are different. Let your customers decide who's the best. The funny thing about it is uh, what I've noticed through my years of doing this and research since 2015, right? is I noticed that the different options are usually the ones that people consider the best. Like, for example, Elvis. All right, there was a lot of, uh, you know, country singers at the time. It was a lot of, you know, Caucasian music stars at the time doing regular type music that you would consider, you know, like the banjo music and everything like that. He was the first Caucasian dude to do rock and roll. That was a black art form. If you don't know, go read up on it. But he he was different. So he came into a music industry that was proven. It was proven. He was selling the same thing, which was music, same product. But he approached and positioned himself different. A Caucasian rock and roll star. And now look at everybody. They don't even remember that it was a black art form, right? So <laughs> and then Michael Jackson. Right. And then, you know, everybody like the top people were different. 
the top companies are different. Okay, when when uh, uh, T-Mobile was being beat out by uh, Sprint, almost like bankrupt and taken out of the game, they introduced the family and friends plan. That was some different. It's the same product, just a different offer and delivery system. Do y'all understand this? They're still selling phones and phone services and data and all of that, but they just positioned as a different offer, which made them different, which made them crazy amounts of money. Then we have Domino's. Domino's was being washed by Pizza Hut and its competitors. Domino's was dying. Okay. Uh, but then they created an offer that allowed them to make $4 billion in one year when they were about to die off. And it was called the 30 minutes hot and ready to your door or is free. So if they didn't deliver this pizza to you within the 30 minutes that you ordered it, like cre from creation of the pizza, well, when you called in creation of the pizza to delivery, if it wasn't at your house within 30 minutes, no matter if it's a traffic, no excuses, they had to just walk off and give it to you for free. Like dog, so many car accidents was happening with that, <laughs> but it increased their sales exponentially. Like that, it people went crazy over that offer. People was getting ran over and all of that stuff. They had to like stop it, right? But it made them different. They still had the same product, y'all. You understand? They were still selling pizza. It tastes like cardboard, and they were selling more than everybody else. Now, you don't want to have a bad product, obviously, but <laughs> you get what I'm saying. Your irresistible offer makes you the only one. Spend more time with that. Everybody's so infatuated with generating a lot of leads, but they got a dusty, crusty, whack offer. So what are they going to do when they come to your page? Huh? What are they going to do when they come to your page? Exactly. So this is why you... The, the only versus best book on the site, on a profitpositioningagency.com website, it stuffs $200,000 worth of sales tactics, positioning uh, strategies, and all of that. Like our service for $200,000 that most of you watching this right now, that's why I'm not trying to sell that or anything, can afford. We took the formulas and the laws from, that we use in that offer that is unique. We placed it in that book that teaches you how to create an offer that you can charge 200K, a million for if you want to, by being the only. Don't strive to be the best. Be the only option of something in the same market as everybody else. And you create your own monopoly. You understand what I'm saying? Like, it, it doesn't matter if they like you or not. I'm black. A lot of people don't like me, but they still have to buy from me because I'm the only one that offers this specific offer. Now, moving on. Be innovative. Okay? Be innovative. Something Jeff Bezos was talking about that I, I like a lot. I'm pretty sure you guys heard of um, obsess over customer issues. All right? And when you obsess over customer issues, see, see, the problem is when we're an agency or we're a marketer, we're constantly trying to craft the message to get a sale. We're not really crafting the message based off of the deepest, darkest desires or fears of the potential customer or client. We're not doing that. That's what you should do. All right. And when you can solve... <laughs> what they're having issues with or what they want the most, then, I mean, money is like nothing. It's air. It's literally is nothing, okay? Money is the paper version of value. So when you can obsess over giving value to customers, then, I mean, they'll give you the money with no problem, okay? All right, so look, obsess over customer issues to improve services. So let's say that you have SEO. You, you offer SEO, right? Remember, I was saying deliver it in a different way. Well, in my Money Highways Ranking Bank SEO course, we have um, a strategy. Like It's like three different strategies that teach you how to rank in the first uh, week, 
Okay, so like some real quick results. And what that does is that'll take away some of the customer issues. And what I mean by that, a lot of customers have been burned before from SEO agencies. They're like, okay, they're telling us it's going to take three to six months. Well, we have ways that we can do it in three to six days or less. I'm just giving you numbers, right? So now they're like, okay, well, damn. Well, how the other people were explaining it, it was like impossible to get results that fast. Hold on, stay by the phone. Let me go rank something real quick. And then we end up ranking something in a couple of hours. And they're like, damn, now that like just gives them the trust that like, if I can do that in one day, then yeah, imagine the results this guy can get me, you know, if I'm constantly working with them. So obsess over customer issues. What issues do they have with your market, with your industry, I mean, with your services, with your offer? Have they heard it all before? Okay. So obsess, obsess over customer issues. Go read Google reviews. Read the comment sections of people's uh, uh, videos or products and, and, you know, and stuff like that, right? And then obsess over solving that type of stuff, right? Okay, so next, this one right here, disrupt entire industries. <laughs> this AI automation situation came out with the agencies and I did not jump on the bandwagon to start talking about what uh, uh, you know they do. I immediately wanted to go against. What do I mean by that? You don't want to be a sheep. Sheep follows. They're a dumb animal. They, if the sheep in front of them go into the slaughter, they go right into the uh, into the slaughter. If uh, the sheep in front of them walk off the cliff, they walk straight off the cliff. Don't even think about it. Don't think twice. You guys are watching these videos and everything like that. And these dudes are saying they're getting results or, or you're watching the test. This is why I always say you stop watching testimonials and become one. Because how you do it doesn't, how they did it doesn't mean it's going to work the exact same way for you. You need laws and formulas that like literally are templated enough to where you just switch the person out and you're still going to get similar or uh, better results. Okay. Laws, formulas. That is what's inside the only versus best book on the profit position and agency.com site. Okay. Laws, formulas. Be bold enough to go against traditional market practices. Okay, what am I talking about? Okay, well, like I said, in the SEO space, um, a lot of people were just doing a monthly retainer situation and they still do it. It's okay, right? Um, so then we started doing, you know, uh, pay per lead. Then we started doing, you know, pay per call. Then we started doing pay per close. And then we were doing rank and rent, where we'll rank uh, rank the asset ahead of time. That way, the customer or the client can't be, you know, scared or skeptical. You know what I'm saying? And then we'll wait to generate some phone calls, maybe for the couple calls to them. Then we'll, you know, we call that the red carpet method. Then we'll call them like, yeah, I'm the dude that's been sending you calls all week, and this is where those calls were coming from. How about you rent this out for, the, let's say, $1,500 a month? Boom. Right? Like, dog, I mean, be bold enough to disrupt. So go against what everybody else is doing. It makes you different, like we said in the last slide. So break traditional marketing practices. Do that on a regular basis. When you see something start, well, that goes into the next part right here. Stop looking for trends and create them instead. Okay, so when the Bible says, let your ways be established, it's not saying become a duplicate or a copycat. It's saying, like I said, don't reinvent the wheel. Go into a proven market or a niche, but you need to offer something extremely different, something more valuable, okay? If you are just another one, you just, imagine yourself sitting on a shelf waiting to be picked out from all the other products. How are you going to stand out? What, your packaging? Your price? Do you really want to just stand out because you got a cool website or because you got uh, cheaper prices than everybody else? Matter of fact, have higher prices than everybody else, right? Like, come on, right? 
So you don't want to compete versus, uh, basis off price. You don't want to compete based off uh, just packaging or what your website look like or, or something like that. But when you look for trends and you just hop on the trends, like then you're setting yourself up, right? That's why I tell everybody that's in this AI automation agency space. I say, okay, whatever's trending right now, get that away for free. And people look at me crazy. Well, think of how high your your lead, uh, your inbound leads uh, will increase. Think of that. If everybody else is selling AI automation and you start creating content for clients talking about how you're going to set that stuff up at no cost. Now they're thinking like, damn, he must have something super awesome that he actually charges for then. Now you're cutting the legs out from up under the other clients. So even with the SEO, let's say, hey, you got some easy ranking methods you can do. All right, I'm going to rank this and I'm not going to charge you. But you would only want to do that when you have a good monetization method in the back of your head, right? Okay, so like I said, cripple the so-called competition by not following trends, but creating trends instead. Constantly do that. Whenever you see a new trend, think of a different way of doing that trend, okay? So for example, uh, when drop servicing first came out, that's why they call me the godfather of drop service. And when drop servicing first came out, which is another word for service arbitrage, I had been doing that since the beginning, since I started in like 2015. Um, but I have been doing it in a different way, which allowed me to like sell crazy amounts of courses effortlessly. While everybody else was on YouTube talking about drop servicing on Fiverr, oh, just take someone else's gig and re-upload it with a higher price. And then when someone pays you, uh, <laughs> you simply go and buy the other gig and let them do the work and deliver it. Oh, that sounded so cool, right? But then I approached the game with local businesses. I was drop servicing actual business. I introduced party buses to people, uh, yacht rentals. These are yacht rentals where people will book the yacht for like $18,000 for the weekend. Like I introduced stuff like that. That was high ticket drop service and nobody had ever seen that before. So it's still drop service and it's still the same market that everybody is talking about. It's still the same method, only is different. It's a different element. So instead of me focusing on being the best, hey guys, I got a million fiber gigs up. The other dudes don't. <laughs> Forget all of that. I was teaching people how to like set up real actual local assets online, create partnerships with local businesses. And when the sales come in from the assets that you own, then you simply let the local business partner do the fulfillment. High ticket, right? That is being innovative, you understand? So what's the next step to being the only person that people buy from? How do you be the only one in your market, your industry, your area, whatever it is that people buy from? All right, so instead of the 200K service, get the affordable version for the low, low price of 197 on the site. So as you can see, it's 197,000. That's where they fly us out to plug in the market monopoly. This book on the site, it has a different cover now, but this book on the site is the 197 version of this 200K version. All right, so you should be able to see how this would be valuable. If you want to know if people have been buying a book, like this is the first time I'm actually really actually promoting the book. I didn't, I've never ran any ads or done any campaigns about it. People uh, have heard me mention it before and then they went to go get it because they see how valuable these strategies are just by in passing. So just imagine that. Like we, we got a whole bunch of people that bought this book, all right? And it's going to change everything for you when you digest this book. It's a sharp book. You get the ebook with it and the audio book with it, okay? So it's the first book of its kind revealing how to dominate your market sales effortlessly using market monopolies, okay? So 
I'm, I'm, I, just, I want you guys to understand that it's not going to be at 197 for long. I might not even sell it for long because I don't, like I said, I want to be different. I don't want things to start being saturated and everything. But this is a book of laws and formulas just implemented with, you know, being creative, guys. Like put it in, use it for your niche. Don't try to go after everything I go after. Use it for your niche. Um, and be creative, create, it has formulas in there for creating irresistible offers. Okay. That separates you from the people that are DMing everybody. How do you DM the same person that everybody else is DMing, but they treat you different. You have to be different. Okay. So this is the only versus best book. Go to profitpositioningagency.com and get that book. You just click on this uh, little image when you get on there and you'll <laughs> be taking a PayPal. And then when you get it, you'll be taken to a page where you can download the, uh, the audio version or the ebook version, all of that extra stuff. And you'll be emailed some other bonuses and, and all of that extra stuff, because we really want you to succeed with this, man. So <clears throat> go to get it right now, profitpositioningagency.com. And I strongly suggest you guys don't just read it, implement it so that you can be the only one people buy from ever.